Tom Yons, a 44 year spent leading, educating, and growing the HSC FFA chapter. Hi, National FFA. My name is Gracie Fisher, and myself, along with my teammates, Reese Hissong, Sophia Wolfgang, and Abby Funk, are proudly representing Indiana. We have put together what we feel is the best possible communications plan that will advocate for FFA and agricultural awareness. In the city of Fishers, where agriculture is outside of the public eye, Mr. Yans has worked hard to continue pursuing his goal of promoting agriculture. Through expanding the number of agricultural classes offered at the high schools, growing the number of participating students, and growing the HC FFA chapter. Mr. Yance has greatly contributed to the ag awareness in our large community. However, our FFA chapter wants to help him expand his reach. When the 33-acre Fishers Ag Park was first founded, Mr. Yance took the initiative to build a partnership between our FFA chapter and the Ag Park. Because of this, the Fishers Ag Park is proud to partner with the Hamilton Southeastern FFA chapter to improve agricultural literacy and awareness while also promoting the FFA through our event. With the help of Fishers Agri Park, Mr. Tom Yance and the Mudstock Communication Team, HSC FFA plan to host a four-week event called Germinate to help educate children on the traditions of agriculture in a hands-on environment. Germinate Take Root is a statement that encompasses all of the goals we want to achieve through this program. Our mission is to enable kids to plant their roots in ag knowledge and begin to germinate their own experiences in ag. By having Mr. Yance involved at this event, he, we, are, we chose Mr. Yance as the face of our event because he is greatly involved in our community and he promotes to FFA and agriculture to just about everyone he meets. He's also a teacher in this district, which allows him further access to our target audiences. We have carefully selected two main target audiences to direct our communications towards. These communications will start with fourth graders in the Hamilton Southeastern School District and branch out to educate their parents. One of the biggest components that we had to think about was the Fishers Ag Park's facilities as well as our budget. We knew the grounds could hold a large number of people, however we had to think who would benefit the most from this experience. HSC FFA has always been involved in local elementary schools and Mudstock Communications team wants to keep up this tradition. We have looked through the current fourth grade curriculum and we have seen a big absence of agriculture education in the classrooms. With these observations in mind, we have chose fourth grade students ages 9 to 11 as our primary target audience. We hope to generate, to generate their interest in ag, increase our ag class numbers, and promote FFA to these students. By having our current FFA members lead these students, it will give them role models to look up to and will allow us to promote FFA by encouraging them to join in seventh grade when they can join our Discovery FFA program. Our secondary audience goes hand in hand with the fourth grade students. As many fourth graders do not have social media, we found it necessary to find another way to communicate to them about our event. With the global connectivity of our world, it seemed only logical to do much of this communication through social media platforms. Parents are much more likely to have a Facebook or an Instagram and will therefore see our advertisements. Additionally, parents are more than welcome to stay with their children throughout our weekly events. While sitting with their children, parents can listen to our weekly lessons and learn more about agriculture. By teaching the fourth grade students with an engaging curriculum, parents will also learn about agriculture. While this program is not aimed towards parents, they will learn new things through social media posts and the information their children bring home. With this new information in the parents' and the children's head, they will encourage them to have more agriculture conversations about livestock, harvesting crops, and any agriculture procedures. A communications plan is essential to the success of Germinate. With these things in mind, we have created promotional and advertising and communications tools to help promote your event and communicate the story of agriculture. Shown on the screen behind me is a logo that we created that emphasizes our key message and promotes event recognition. With our logo in place, we have created flyers and posters that we plan on posting throughout the school district, listing exciting details and events about our program Germinate. We have also created postcards that we plan on sending out to every fourth grader in the district, including the same information. Tom Yance is featured within most of our promotional tools, giving parents and students a chance to see the face of Germany ahead of time. Finally, a substantial part of our communications plan will be conducted through social media, as technology is so prevalent in our lives today. 
It is our hope that through these online media sites, we will be able to reach the largest audience possible, in turn, fitting a large number of attendees. To accomplish this, we will be utilizing Instagram and Facebook, as a large majority of both of our target audiences use both sites. Success in Germany takes both prior preparation and exciting and fun games while the children are there. We have come up with goodie bags to keep them excited and also give them an opportunity to bring things home with them once the event is over. In these goodie bags, it will consist of temporary tattoos, stickers, t-shirts, and seed packets. Seed packets are a unique and exciting way to get kids excited about agriculture at home. They will learn about planting and growing at Germany and will then take their seeds home to help teach their family and friends about agriculture. This will give them a sense of responsibility as they are in charge of teaching others and in charge of caring for their own plants. They'll have the opportunity to plant tomatoes, peppers, and strawberries. Attendees will also be receiving temporary tattoos in their goodie bags. We know that kids enjoy and find personal expression through temporary tattoos. And these will not only allow them to show their friends what they've learned at Germany, but also provide a free promotional tool for the event. Stickers are also a great way to get students excited about learning. I mean, what kid doesn't love stickers? Behind me on the screen are four stickers that we have designed that highlight the theme of each week. Students can put these in their room, put them on their clothing, or put them on their phones, iPads, or folders that they take to school. These stickers are just another way we can communicate the process of farming and agriculture even outside of event hours. Finally, there will be t-shirts in the goodie bags. On the front of the t-shirts, it will be our Germany icon, and on the back, it will be our key message. We are confident that these comfortable t-shirts will be worn once the session is over and promote the program we are working for. Our team has created a timeline spanning from May to September of 2021. In phase one, from May to June, our FFA members and volunteers will begin developing activity plans and will begin promoting and posting our social media posts. Our social media campaign will continue through the entire duration of this event. July marks phase two of our event. We will be distributing all of our direct mail communications, including the postcards and flyers, and this will be our main points of communication with the public. In our third and final phase, we will conduct the actual Germinate programs. Each Saturday from the end of August to the beginning of September, we will host a different themed event each week. Germinate will take place on four Saturdays. The first one is Germinate Take Root, which is on August 21st. At this, at this Germinate, we will hand out our promotional items and teach kids about seeding. Our second one will be on August 28th, which is Germinate Growing Together. On this one, they will learn about the growing processes and we will be able to see this through different stages. Our third one is Germinate, Harvesting New Minds on September 4th. On this one, we will be able to see how things are harvested and have hands-on experience. Our fourth one is September 11th, which is Rooted in Tradition. At this one, students will have the opportunity to be up close with livestock and also take our final quizzes. Mr. Tom Yance will play a key role in each week in activities. He will help lead activities, assist kids, and tell stories about his own experiences in agriculture. At the, at the, fi at the conclusion of our event, we will also review the quizzes and, and evaluate our chances and opportunities about doing this again in future years. Moving down page 11 of our plan, we have created a budget for the projected promotional tools and supplies needed for the Germinate program. We wanted to maximize the $5,000 budget we were given by purchasing various communication items and goodies for the kids in attendance. Within our plan, we have highlighted the total amount of spending that this program will require. We do understand that the promotional t-shirts and mailing costs are the cost of your expenses, however, they are necessary for the promotion of our event. With this being hosted at Fisher's Agri Park, it will be a solely volunteer-based event. Agency FFA and Fisher's Agri Park have partnered together to educate kids more on the agriculture life and teach them about miscon misconceptions in the community. As this being said, there will be no charge to us for being hosted at the Fishers Agri Park. The Mudsock Communications team is excited to present you with what we feel is the best possible communications plan, with the hopes that it will tell the story of our ag teacher, Mr. Yance, while also promoting agricultural awareness and FFA. With the aid of flyers, postcards, t-shirts, and an engaging four-week program, Germinate will communicate the processes of growing, planting, harvest, and harvesting crops 
as well as the traditions and evolution of agriculture to all fourth graders and their, and their parents. By following this plan, we are confident that this will be a successful program that allows youth to build a foundation in agriculture. We thank you for allowing us to work with you these past few months.